Hi, I'm around my girlfriend's again, and I can't bother to get my camera out and do all the little extra bits that I do on um, on my videos. I'm not going to bother doing any jingle or uh, any intro or anything like that. I'm kind of tired today and can't be bothered much. Like, I was, like, seriously thinking not bothering doing, doing a blinking blog. It's like, no, you've got to do the blog. You said you're going to do a year and a day. You have to do as you've said. It's quite hot and it's, uh, bit melty. Yeah, I'm on my girlfriend's till Friday now, so no live streams of um, Fallout or anything like that. Uh, I've started to making a video about our pussycats, our little pussycats, Osborne and Poppy, because, you know, people like pussycats. Uh, talking of people who like pussycats, um, Zoe and Noodles. Zoe and Noodles is named after his two pussycats. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to shout him out. I'm gonna, I won't do a jingle, though. Sorry. No, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. No, I will do a jingle. I'll do a jingle because of what it is. I'm being lazy. I can't bother to use my normal camera. So I'm using my lap laptop. I hope you can hear my voice, actually. I should have plugged in my microphone, but actually, my microphone's at home. So what I do at the end, I put my finger over the camera and do a jingle. <laughs> I'll sing a jingle later on with my finger over the over the camera. I do. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, I've got no comics in the post. I'm not getting any comics because... I haven't got any money, so I won't be getting any comics anytime soon. I might get some money off my girlfriend for my birthday, and I'll, yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah, beardy, beardy uh, comics that he was going to send me, bear, 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 bear comics, bear, beardy bear, I can't remember his bloody name. <laughs> he said he was sending me a package, which would be nice. Yeah, so we'll see what happens there. Um, but anyway, let's just tell you about the comics I, bought, I read today. Um, a couple of comics on the way over on the train. These were sent to me as part of an AOK from Comic Foo. So thanks, thanks, and no thanks to Comic Foo because he sent me comics that I hadn't got any of, which is good. But now, now I want to buy the series because I'm a bloody series collector. And I was like, I'll just read them, but I'm not going to collect them. And now I'm like, I read them. I'm like, I wonder what happens next. Oh, and that's the worst thing. That's why that's my mentality when it comes to comic books. I want to know the story. I want to know what happens. I want to know what goes on from there. You know, this is why I've never been a key collector or a collector of number ones or anything like that. This is why I've comics in my house. I've spent too much money over the years. Uh, but not at the moment because I haven't got anyone to spend. <laughs> right, so I read... The Amiga Men number one. I have seen a lot of these going cheap before. I did actually think before about maybe getting like a few of them. Because I've seen them in 50p bins and stuff like that. And I know the, the big one in this one is the Lobo for number one. First Lobo appearance. I'd like to have that as a key that I would like to have. Because, uh, you know, I quite like Logo. Logo? Who the hell is Logo? I quite like Logo as well as Logo. And, um, yeah. So maybe I'll start a run of this. But not in any time soon. Um, and then... I got number four of this death's head. Um, so I might, and that was quite funny. It was quite a fun read. Actually, in the, the Amiga Men, uh, yeah, it's uh, basically the world's, the universe, or most of the universe has been taken over by the Dominators, I think it is. And um, their, their forces under them. And there's different people from different planets who have started a um, rebellion or trying to start a rebellion. So in this one, they take out some of the, the Dominator forces, not Dominators themselves, but obviously Dominator underlings. Uh, take them out on a on a, a one planet where they're, they're the only ones there. Basically, they're only there to sort of show their strength, even though the rest of the planet is unpopulated, just to show that they control every single planet. <laughs> anyway, they take out this outpost of the of the Dominion and uh, or Dominator, sorry, and um, then they go to another planet of this guy. I can't remember what his name was now, like Blorp or something like that. I can't remember, and um, he's like um, violent. He rips people. He rips people to shreds, but his own home planet is full of pacifists who refuse to do anything. Um, so they're basically they're, when their children are born, their children are sent straight off into slavery. That's part of what they do because it's for them pacifism is everything and, and keeping peace is everything. So they, they let the dominators put their own children into slavery as soon as they are born, um, rather than have war, even though they're really strong, tough um, race. Uh, just somehow it's developed in their society that they uh, love peace over everything. So anyway, the, he, Gloop, whatever his name is, he he goes off the rails and he kills all the the enemies that are there, uh, stealing the children. But then to continue the peace, uh, the the other people of the planet they go and talk to the slave ship and they say, well, we've got to have reprisals for our people who have been killed. We're going to destroy a whole one of your cities, and they won't do anything to protect their cities because pacifism 
And uh, yeah, so they, at the end of blowing up one of their cities, and three of the members of the Amiga Men are in that city as it's, as the nuclear bomb blowing up. Um, so did they die? I don't think they did. Although there's the, the guy, I think this guy is called Primus. I don't remember seeing him on other comics. But there's a tiger guy, Tigro or something like that, and I'm sure I've seen him in other uh, Amiga Men issues. But it may be that maybe Primus dies. Maybe this guy dies as well. Uh, I can't remember what his name was either. And he read it today as well. It might be Nimbus or something like that. I can't remember now. Um, yeah, and then this one. Um, I was aware of Death's Head, but I've got the Death Metal run because he becomes Death Metal later on. Uh, he's just a robot bounty hunter. But it was quite funny though. He's um, take. He basically kills a, a mob lieutenant to try and get to another lieutenant. What well, he, he kills one mob lieutenant because he's trying to kill this mob's hitman. He's called Plague Dog, and um, she's, that's him there. And he's thinking, well, if I kill this lieutenant, the, the head of this mob will send the Plague Dog after me, or send Plague Dog to protect the other lieutenant. Um, but what happens, he's, he's a comp he's, I don't know what he is, he's his office man or his friend or something, he's busy hiring out an office space uh, for them, and uh, the Plague Dog happens to be there. He's basically been sent there to, to be eaten. By this undertaker crime lord, so he sold him the property. But what he wanted to do really was feed his kid, his pet killer, and the plague dog. And anyway, but his his accomplice manages to kill plague dog on his own. Um, yeah, that was it. <laughs> that was it really. But it was quite funny. Uh, yeah, but I mean, that was number four of the run. I don't, I don't, I don't really want to buy all the rest of the run, uh, but. We'll see. We all we we will see what happens. <laughs> all right, I've got. Some, I haven't got that many comics left to read now. Actually, I've only got this many comics, this many new comics left to read. I have my complete to read pile. So I will. So I'm not planning on getting any more comics at the moment. So I will uh, just. What I'm going to do. I will have to start going through a, a pile of comics that um, I was waiting to get the run before I read it. But there's, there's stuff like um, World's Finest and uh, Adventure. I'm pretty sure most of those are self-contained stories. So I can start possibly reading through them. Definitely the World's Finest. I can start reading from my World's Finest run. Um, yeah, see what, see what happens. Anyway, I'm out of here. Uh, yeah. Cheers for watching. Make sure you go and sum up Zoe and Noodles. He's cool. <laughs> and, and until next time, have a great amazing day. And may all your news be good news. Go and sub Zoe and Noodles. Go and sub him up right now. If you don't sub up Zoe and Noodles, I'll make you get eaten by cannibalistic noodles. Yeah. <laughs>